Hey everyone, it's Average Gatsby, and welcome to the first episode, the intro of my Mass Effect 1 guide. That's right, as I've already shown you earlier today, I'm doing Dragon Age, I'm doing Fallout 3, and now I'm doing Mass Effect 1. Um, I will be doing this guide on the Insanity difficulty, but uh, one thing I want to add before I go any further, I had to console to get the insanity difficulty for this game. Not because I haven't done it before, but because apparently all of my Mass Effect saves... Well, they still exist, but they don't exist as far as my profile is concerned. So I load up and I have these saves of me at the end of the game, and yet I don't have any achievements. And so... You know, I basically had to uh, had to use the console to to get my insanity character. Um, now, what's nice about insanity is that pretty much everything I'm going to talk about, you know, is going to apply uh, all the way down. And um, you know, besides the bonus power that I decided to take in uh, shotguns, just because they're they're really awesome in this game, and uh, you know, I think they're a lot of fun. Um, Basically, I, I'm choosing this sort of build, too, by the way, the Sentinel with shotguns, because I feel like this is going to encompass almost every type of class, you know, as, as best I can in one playthrough. Um, I don't plan on going through all of the classes like I did for Mass Effect 1, um, because I'd rather just talk about, one, how to, you know, play the game well, effectively, two... Uh, builds and three, just you know, have a have a quick walkthrough out there for people who want you know want to get into Mass Effect Two, but uh, want to get through this game as quickly as possible. Um, so to that end, well, this isn't really going to be a completionist guide or anything born, like that. Um, no I'll be doing a lot of stuff on my own on the side. If people ask for uh, specific things, uh, then I will do that for them. For but there's tons of videos, um, descriptive videos out there, and uh, walkthroughs for this game. Um, and so you can find a lot of that information on your own. But I did want to you know highlight how. You know, I play how this game is different, and how to basically just get through it as uh, as quickly as you can. So, also that in, um, I'm going to try to use my weapon specialization not too much. Even though it's insanity, I would like that help. Um, I realize that as playing Sentinel, you don't have a weapons specialization. Um, you can use pistols better, but it's not... I believe I recalled the Sentinel does not have a true weapon specialization. It's in his class passive, and so he doesn't actually put points in uh, pistol use or anything like that. So, um, let me talk about this game for a little bit, and how I'm going to do the guide. Uh, I am probably going to try to finish this guide before my Dragon Age and Fallout 3 guides are finished. I know I'm going to be able to do it. Um, I can beat this game in less than 15 hours and, you know, and not feel like I'm really missing a whole lot either. So, to that end, uh, this is not going to be a, a level 60 character, necessarily. Um, you can go back and do that on your own, but, uh, you know, once you know how to, how to play through it once, then you'll know how to play through it again. Um, other things, I'll save my other videos for basically how I'm going to go through the build and things of that nature. So, that will be for next time. Um, I want to kind of give a as even as a as play as possible and uh, most effective. Um, I used to, I will note, I used to put points in Charisma and Intimidation. Uh, either or. I'm going to be playing as a renegade, so I'll probably mainly just do intimidation. But I've been reading around and basically people saying that that is kind of pointless because you can get those on your own. So I'm going to be looking into that and showing you how to do that. But I mean, I beat this game on Insanity and I didn't have really an optimum build at all. I uh, 
That's something Remember that's nice about both this game and Mass Effect 2. Even if you I mess up your build, you're not really all that messed up for the rest of the game. It's not like Dragon Age, where if you mess up on your, uh, on where you're putting your points, you know, and strength, constitution, things like that. If you mess up on that, you can be in big trouble. And then Fallout probably has the the harshest curve in that if you mess up on your special in the beginning, all of a sudden all these perks that you wanted to get uh, suddenly aren't available to you anymore. So, you know, this game, a lot more forgiving in that regard. Um, also, I'd have to say, it, it is kind of nice coming back to this game. I think... This game really has sort of a, I guess, like, mystical feel to it. Mystical's maybe not the right word, but it's like when you watch Star Wars Episode Four for the first time, and it's just this really cool world, and you get to basically explore that with the character, and that's exactly how this game is. Um, Mass Effect 2 is an awesome, awesome game, and I love the story, but it doesn't have that same sort of epic feel or the same sort of uh, uh, sense of wonder that uh, this game has. So anyway, right here I'm just showing, I'm going to show the ridiculously <laughs> accurate nature of the shotgun. Um, especially since I I do have the, uh, uh, the specialization at this point. And I'm just, you know, shooting up the inside of the Normandy. I think I might turn up the graphics a little bit for my... Uh, for future recordings, um, I didn't really find that I, you know, I didn't realize that they were on this low of a setting, so I'll turn that up for you, and just showing, you know, what I have available, and, um, Sentinel's just so nice, because I get to show a little bit of, I get to show a little bit of everything, and, uh, that's what I'm gonna be doing. So anyway, um, other things, uh, these videos will probably be a little bit more frequent, uh, than the other two guides, and that's all I have for you for this time. Um, I'm Average Gatsby. Please rate, comment, subscribe, give me any feedback you like, let me know what you want to see, and I'll see you later.